He's pinged him. I reckon back to back they confuse the umpire. They're never going to kick James across the ground. Had the same problem. Yep. James, back to meter. Wow. And Brian Lake can put them in front. I reckon he has. No, he knows Mr. Z. Behind. He's missed. What do you do in this situation as a coach, Lee? Is they, Melbourne have got the lead. There's only two and a half minutes to go. Do you stack the back line? What's the message to the young players? Well, I think you've got to try and maintain possession a little bit, but it's so hard to maintain possession with this slippery ball. Yep. I think you've still got to attack. Still got to try and attack. So Grimes to bring it in. Just under two and a half minutes remain in the game. Everett the big leap. No mark. Bruce tries to get it out. Second occasion managed to. Knocked by McDonald towards a teammate there in Davey. Kicks towards half forward. Cross has been terrific. Was taken high. Pushing the back in any case. Cross gets the free. Alongside the centre circles. Cross. Two men out wide. Everett can run it up to 50. Boyd is cruising past. Everett unloads long towards full forward. Well, punching away Warnock. Punched it off the chest of a teammate. After the football goes Bartram, he slipped over. Gathered by Griffin. Griffin snaps. He's put it through. Dogs lead it. A minute and a half to go. Crucial contest there. Young Bartram had the opportunity to get the ball going forward with a little toe poke off the ground. Unfortunately, lost his feet. And in these crucial one-on-one -on -one contests when the game's on the line, we see it here. It's yeah. amazing, hasn't it? I mean, Melbourne had all the momentum, but the Bulldogs really have found something in the last yep. three or four minutes. Mm. I mean, you have when they have to, the game's in the balance. It sounds funny. You can get nervous when you're a young team and not used to winning when you are in front uh, in the closing stages of the game. They've... Uh, just look like they've got a little bit nervous. Chris, minute 42 to go. You've got a killer move. Yeah, look, Rodney will put guys behind the ball. We've got to even up the numbers there and we've got to surge the ball forward and grab our opportunity if it presents. Let's see how it unfolds. Sylvia's little toe poke didn't go very far. Scully off the ground. Grimes off the ground. So they get it inside 50. It's going to be a hard footy to get hold of. Gilby goes to the line. He's happy with that. The point that Chris is making, there's no point having a spare man in defence. At the moment, Matthew Warnock is spare across half-back. He has to try and get up and get into space, even if it's on the other side of the 50-metre uh, arc from this uh, stoppage. I think that the runner is going out to tell him exactly that. So j was there. So here's Bartram looking to the umpire. No doubt. I yeah. think that's happened. I mean, we, we, we mentioned at the start of the game, that's played a, that's played a part tonight. Yeah. John Suracuza. Yes, I've got no idea. I reckon moments before that. Throw it in. Can't remember who it was on this wing that put the ball across yeah, there. He had the Sylvia, same problem. Yep. Had the same problem. And pulled his kick at the last moment. So going inside the last minute. Scully, Sylvia, Jones. Oh. Front spot, well done by Bate. He's been terrific. Sylvia, body strength. He just Come couldn't on. quite get clear. And then Murphy's going to go bang. That's a good kick. A terrific kick to John Suracusa. And the dogs, you reckon, can yep. really run it down from here. Now Melbourne have to get body for body. <sighs> what about the poor old demons, eh? Collingwood just beat them in the last gasp. Or well, more correctly, they failed to get up in the last gasp. But here it is again. Two quality sides. Collingwood and the Western Bulldogs. And Melbourne slugging it out with both of them. Can they pluck this one? Up in front, Hudson falls behind. Taken by Griffin. Slung by Scully. Only goes about 10 metres. Warnock. The clock, though, the enemy now. Jones back to Warnock. Over the top, Scully. I think they might regret they took him off the ground, even if he wanted to come off. He kicks it up towards the wing. Things happened that weren't good for Melbourne while he was sitting down. Now the ball comes back to Grant. We're down to seven seconds, and the Bulldogs are going to win it. The Bulldogs are going to win this. Touch of irony, just as St Kilda did to them last week. The Dogs deny 